Okay, so here I have my iCade that uh, I had previously put a zero delay encoder in here to use uh, with a tablet, a Windows tablet that uh, was running uh, CoinOps next, but uh, it was a little laggy and stuff. Anyway, so I've since replaced the encoder now with one that supports Xbox 360 and Nintendo Switch and I think a few others. So, now I can actually, I have a piece of Velcro holding the Switch up. And as you see here, let me make sure the volume is as loud as it can be. I have my uh, hack Nintendo Switch here, so I can uh, run other games and stuff, and install my cartridges onto the internal or the SD card. But, uh, so now, I have it hooked up, rewired, and uh, works with a Nintendo Switch, as well as it works with Android tablets. And uh, it's a heck of a lot better compatibility with Android tablets. So, you know, before the zero delay encoder worked. But, uh, you know. Come on. Uh, it just had bad compatibility. But now I can actually use this with uh, Moonlight Game Stream, Steam Link, whatever. With no problems. And here we have our Street Fighter stuff. Is this? Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if it was going to put me into Street Fighter 1. Let's go to Third Strike. This this joystick isn't very good. So it, it gives me kind of like two inputs sometimes. Come on. Oh. Alright. I'm going to show it with Android as well. I have a 10.5 inch Galaxy A7 tablet. Okay, anyways, let's see about getting out of here. So you get the idea of that, but uh, I wish I could find my Mortal Kombat 11 cartridge, because then I'd play that with this, but... Uh, I don't have enough buttons also, so I have to keep like a Joy-Con, or I have a third third-party Joy-Cons here. Uh, I have to keep them nearby. And that's just if I can remember what button to press to make them actually turn on. Turn on! I'm going to have to get a Pro Controller just because they don't want to turn on. Hmm. Oh, there you go. I forgot I have to hold it down. I have to hold the home button down for a little bit. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Okay, I'm pressing the A button. It's not doing anything. All right. Hmm. Oh, they, they turned off. Nice. Not quite what I was looking to do. Hmm. It's not wanting to... Uh... Okay. We'll close out. Like that. We're going to see to one of these is right and left. I think this is right. Your right analog. So you hold the right analog, a uh, right bumper down, and you hit A. 
And as long as you held the right thing down, there it is. So now I can access my emulators. And uh, you can launch those. And I'm going to go to my history here. And I'm going to go to the Dolphin, uh, uh, what do you call it, game? Dolphin Blue. I finally got to beat this game, was it yesterday or the day before? Because uh, previously the game crashed. It would crash last time I played it, so I would play like halfway through the game and it would crash. But now, apparently you can play all the way through. And I'm playing in widescreen. Anyway, so then I get out of here. No, we get out of here by uh, going and going and uh, quit. And I can also go over and launch Moonlight Game Stream, connect to my PC, and uh, we can play whatever game we want here, uh, including Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> But, I also have a cool little emulation set up on my PC that I can launch into. So this is RetroBat, which I set up. And like all this stuff would work on an Android tablet, these things, these hacks. These also work on Android. Uh, they're not hacks on Android, though. They're just apps. <laughs> so, now I have this whole thing here. Hmm. But I'm not sure what I want to do. <laughs> and because it's a full power of a PC... Hey. Alright, I'm getting confused with the button layouts. Where's the game key? Here it is. So now, we can, uh... I can launch Soul Calibur 2 and play with Soul Calibur 2 and the Switch here with, uh, this. here. Check to see if the 
Yeah, we have the correct aspect ratio. Cool. Alright, you gotta choose Link. I think I've heard other people saying they can run GameCube games on here, but not very well. <laughs> not like this. And I'm getting my ass kicked from the, by the first person. What the fuck? No. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you hit start and select to get out. And, uh, we have PS2 on here. We got Wii U. So you play Wii U games. I don't have anything that's fitting for this arcade setup here, but it's there. Let's see about Wii. You might have. A, come on. Hey. Alright, so let's see if we have uh, Tatsunoko versus. Uh, here we go. Emma, you're boring me. I'm not impatient or anything like that. Alright. Let's go back to picking a random character. So that's that. And uh, what else? The Dreamcast games. The uh, Switch runs Dreamcast just fine. Yeah. So model two and model three. I can't play these games because it requires that I have a joystick configured and I don't. So you need like a, a D-pad to work with this interface and a joystick to play the game. So if I, if I set it up as a joystick, I can't navigate the interface. And if I set it up as a D-pad, I can play the game. That's if I can get into it. So I'd have to actually launch the individual emulator to do that. And I don't know. You got Saturn games. I 
I, I'm not sure. Let's see, do I have any? Okay. Oh yeah, let's go. Come on. This is A. Yeah. The latency doesn't feel too bad. Um, so. I'm not really good at this. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah, that's it. You get Saturn. Um, Model 2, Model 3, whatever you can add, a PS2, let's go to PS2, Virtual Fighter 4, Tekken, is it Tekken 5, uh, let's go with Tekken 5, there's also Outrun, so, actually I don't know that I have the control set up for, the oh that's right, there's an issue. Yeah, I gotta configure the emulator because it's crashing. But then you have your PSP. That's another system that kind of runs on on the Switch by itself. But anyway, so now how do I get out of this? How do how how? <laughs> it's like this or no? Let's just get quit emulation station. Uh, I think in order to completely get out, you have to, uh, you have to do something. You have to hold down the two triggers, which aren't, in, don't exist on here. And I think hit down on the D-pad or something, something like that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works on this. I'm not sure if it works on player two. So let me just back out and we'll close that. And now I'm going to pop an Android tablet in there. Pull this out. Oh, and just for the hell of it, I do have it set so you can actually flip it. There's another piece of Velcro going vertically. And I can connect it like that. And for any games, pinball or whatever, or vertical shooters, I can actually do it like that. But with Android tablets, if they fit in these slots properly. And the one I have is a lot bigger than the Switch. So, let me go grab my Android tablet. This is the Samsung... Uh, Tab A7. Let me wipe it off of it. It's got a little some fingerprints. Yeah, so this is the Samsung Tab A7. And has really nice speakers. Not the best performance ever, but for emulation, it's actually really good. And it has face unlock, which it already worked. Oh, and I have it set up so when I plug in the USB, it launches my emulation front end dig. And so, you know, I'm used uh, macro droid to get it to automatically launch it. And if I pull it out, it goes straight back home. So let's plop, pop that back in. And we get dig running. And we can run arcade games and Dreamcast. And because it's Xbox and Switch and everything, everything just works. So before with the zero uh, delay encoder, only a few things would work right. So let's launch some Dead or Alive 2. Huh. 
The only issue I have with this tablet is with the Android 11, they gimped storage, like, a lot. They use this thing called Scope Storage, which, which limits storage heavily. And, uh, I can't, like, RetroArch doesn't support it. But, uh, it, I can use a front end to get to force RetroArch to play the games. So that sucks to, that I can't just use RetroArch normally unless I use the internal storage. Everything's running off the SD card. Alright. This uh, tablet can pay, play up to a little bit of GameCube. Oh god. If you use the, uh, the Dolphin MMJ build. Anyway, so if I want to get out of here, I'd set it up so that start and select just brings up the menu so I can have access to the menu. Winner! And then I can just, uh, <laughs> why is it? Oh, I'm getting confused between the switch and this. The switch is the other way around. All right, so just quit out. And then. And the other games, House of the Dead, Marvel vs. Capcom, and all that. But then I can also launch Android stuff, such as, why would I want to launch Call of Duty? I don't know. Um, play it with an arcade stick. You can uh, launch GeForce Now, but I can also launch Moonlight Game Stream, which works best in my scenario. Um, I've tried Steam Link, and Steam Link used to work best, but now it doesn't. Now it's actually the other way around. Or moonlight works better. And I'm going to play some other things. I'm going to play some Killer Instinct. Oh. Wait, apparently the other one's still running. From when I was playing on the Switch. Technically, I guess. Hmm. Where are you go? Play game. Play. Okay. Come on. I, it's not letting me, okay, I have to do it on my PC, don't I? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but it, I'm, I'm looking the settings to see if I enabled the ability to uh, use the mouse click. There's a setting for it. <sighs> Anyway. This may break up a bit. I noticed with this tablet I got some a little breakups and things when when streaming games no matter what I'm using. Um we'll see. I'm hearing some breaking up. It works fine on the Switch, but uh, this tablet, it breaks up a bit. I'm sure if I brought it a little closer, it'd be better, but...
Yeah, this one doesn't kind of like the streaming as much. I tried to bring my uh, router a little closer, but it didn't seem to help much, if any at all. Press me. Okay. I'm sitting there waiting for nothing. Difficulty. Wuss. Oh, God. This is going to be a laggy. Eek. Hey, damn it. Get out of here. Oh, it crashed. Nice. That wasn't what I was trying to do. That was the first crash. Uh, let's see here. I think if I just swipe back. I hit quit session because it crashed. So resuming session would probably just bring me up to the, uh, the desktop. Unless it just minimized and I didn't realize it. Because that's happened to me where the, the app just randomly minimizes because windows and stuff. Okay, we're trying. I've tried Steam Link. You know what? Maybe uh, maybe it would be better if I used, uh, even though it's kind of a little clunky, it does, it's not controller supported. Maybe if I used Parsec, it would be better. We're trying again. And I have gameplay of this game running on the, you know, streaming to the uh, Switch, and it ran perfectly. What the hell is this? I don't want him. So we'll try again. It's really struggling. <laughs> Yeah, it's really laggy. Let's say the Nintendo Switch has been the best uh, device I've used with Moonlight Game Stream. I mean, it even supports, if, if you have a controller with Rumble, it supports Rumble. So. And the uh, Joy-Con is supported, so. However, if you don't care about Rumble, then whatever. Hey, not fair. I blame the lag.
All right. Yeah, that was a little rough. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to back out of this and kill the session. And we're going to get back to some emulation on this thing because obviously the streaming performance is kind of shit. Um, so... Let's do some Dreamcast. GameCube isn't set up yet again. Actually, GameCube was set up. No, GameCube was set up in the PS2 wasn't before. Um, did Dead or Alive too? Okay, so. Let's do Soul Calibur. And see, it sees it as an Xbox 360 controller. I wonder if that even matters if you, what you choose there. Namco. The emulator normally handles shit. I don't know. The stage of history. Come on. Victory I've said to everything to widescreen as long as it is decent. Emulate's okay in widescreen, but if games don't actually properly support widescreen, you can go into the options setting in RetroArch and go into manage core options and then go save, bleh, save game options, creates a file, and then you can go ahead and go to where it says... You can change any of these, but you can turn off the widescreen hack, and that'll only apply to the game that you're actually playing. So this way, if a game has issues with widescreen, and you're not happy with it, you can turn it off for that game. This victory the soul. Okay, let me try something different here. Uh, come on. Virtual fight. I'm gonna try a, a different system. I'm thinking arcade, but oh, so, you know what? PSP. This thing's actually fairly decent at PSP. I'm gonna do Tekken Six. So you can play Tekken Six here. It reads the controls like right away. I didn't have to map anything. Phoenix. Get ready for the next event. I think this is running at two times the resolution, and I believe it can do three, but it looks fine at two. So yeah, it looks really good when you raise it the resolution. Looks like a PS3 game or something. For less than two hundred dollars, this one doesn't have the best internal storage. It's thirty-two gigs, but it has an SD card. Like I said, the 
the port in Android 11 sucks, but you can get it working. Kind of whatever. <laughs> Pissing me off with the Android 11 gimp story. This is a build of the emulator that I downloaded from uh, from their website. It's a development build, but it works great. So in order to get out, I kind of have to use the touch screen. So, but it works. So there you go. And now for shits and giggles, I want to see because I haven't tried this. If this will be detected as an Xbox gamepad in Call of Duty Mobile. Why? I have no clue. Because I can't play it, but will it detect this as an actual Xbox 360 controller? Watch it tell me I can't play the game because I don't know. I hope this isn't going to take forever because they just updated the game. Uh-oh. 74.64 megabytes of downloading resource stuff. I guess they were they're done with the uh the Wild West. And they're moving on to um hot chicks or something. Blizzard would be proud. <laughs> Fucking psychopaths. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, come. Come, you can do it. I haven't played this update yet, so I wonder how it is. I gotta check it out. Go check it out. Come on, come on. You can do it. I knew this was going to take forever. I knew it. All this just to see if it actually can read this as an actual Xbox controller. Or is it going to be like, no go. Okay. As if I can actually do anything with that. Are they going to make me sign in again? Oh... Uh, I've just signed into Boomer Book. I will make 100% sure it's not being shown. <laughs> I don't want you signing into my Boomer Book. Oh, it won't let me? Oh, there it is. Oh, this it won't be too bad because uh, it doesn't actually show any passwords or anything, so it should be okay now. Oh, God. Come on. Any year now. Okay, here we are. Get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here. Tap to continue. Stop trying to sell me stuff. Stop trying to sell me stuff. Get me out of here. I don't want to. Okay. Now, do you see this as an actual Xbox controller? It doesn't look like it does. Controller. And then it says what? Huh. So this controller, but I don't think it does see this says connect controller so it doesn't see this as an xbox controller okay that's all i wanted to see all right i think that's it have a good